Today, we're going to look at Labyrinth, War on Terror, card by card. We hope you'll join us in exploring this amazing game. This is Legendary Tactics. Yeah, Hamas Elective is the first one that we're going to look at. Uh, with this set, the Palestinian Islamist option. Yes. So this card's a... Uh... It's interesting. Uh, you lose uh, a prestige and a funding. Yeah. So it's it. This one's uh, one of those ambiguous events because the U.S. selects and discards one card from the U.S. hand is actually potentially a great card to play. Costs you a prestige, but you know the jihadist loses a funding. So yeah. if you have like a, a bad card in hand, um, this can give you that exit. You know, you can say, yeah. well, I don't want to play this one, so I'll get rid of it. Um, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Cost you prestige, but again, the Jonas oh, I think a trade for a, for a funding drop is totally worth that. Yes, absolutely, and to discard a bad, you know, jihadist uh, uh, event. Potentially, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And the one op really is not like worth. I would probably take this event more often than not, actually. Yeah, um, yeah, for the one op, sure. Yeah, and and even if the opportunity present presented itself, I might even carry this over to the next turn because even if I have a decent hand and I'm fine with playing out the cards. I may not get as favorable a hand next time. So it, it's a good mitigating card for sure. You're it right. Is. Yeah. So uh, it's uh, there any reason the jihadist would play this. Do you think, uh, you know what? It, it could, uh, be a spoiler card. Mm -hmm. So you're, if you're trying to like maybe mess up, uh, if, if, if you sort of see the U S kind of posturing it for a big power play, Yes, it it might actually really uh, gum up the work. So, but it to lose a funding over it, oh, yeah. Although that's a real. I I agree. Like if the prestige is on the brink, like if it's on the verge of going to high, or you know, and you can bring it down to medium, um, you know that that might be worth it actually. Just to, I mean, it would cost you funding, but depending on your board situation, that might not be hard to recover with plots or what right. have you. So, yes, yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea how to say this next card. Do you want to give it a I try? I was waiting for I was waiting for you to I was waiting for you to say it. <laughs> His ut tarir is what I'm guessing. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's pretty good actually. Uh, that's, uh, yeah. Also known as H U T. <laughs> hot. <laughs> yeah, the hot. The hot card. <laughs> uh, so if troops are in overstretch plus two funding if low intensity minus two funding so it's a very situational card for both very of us very situational um, basically if if troops are in the middle if they're in or or unfavorable to you you're going to just take the op if you can benefit from the event you're going to play the event like it's no it's a no-brainer event if yeah. you know the if if my troops are at low intensity this is yeah. a no-brainer event and uh, same, an same on my side as well. You're you're, yeah. you're you're playing this for two. You're playing this for the two funding if you if you can get it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but uh, you know. But other than that, it's so it's yeah, super situational. Right. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I can say this next one, Kosovo. Kosovo. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> nice and easy. <laughs> U.S. supports Muslim minority. Yeah. Um, so press prestige bump. And but you lose uh you lose Serbia. Yeah. Against your posture. Um. This one can be worth the prestige bump if, it, as long as it's not, not going to flip the global war on terror uh, track against you. Um, yeah. Or yeah, if you have yeah. like a lot of, a lot of um, support, you know, you've got like say four your four countries um, to the opposite, uh, or sorry, to the favorable to your side. side. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, think generally it's probably it might be likely worth the prestige. Um, yeah. But if it, if yeah. it's off putting, you can always just take the event. It's one of the nice. Things I don't I don't know if I would actually give you the prestige bump myself no. to lose a unless you were like you say right in the middle, where yeah. it was going to put the world against you. Then possibly, but still, the prestige bump it gets you closer to a plus one anyway. So yeah, it might it might can't or plus two even. So yeah, so could. it's not uh, yeah, it's not really worth for me to to yeah. play this event. However, this can be a great card if if my prestige is already in the toilet. You know, oh yes! If I've got prestige one or two, and you can set Serbia to the opposite, that might be worth taking. That's a yeah, yeah. You know, but uh, again, very situational. Not a massive effect either way, and it's only a one op, so yeah. Yeah, not not, not a drastic. I find sometimes the one op cards. Don't you find that you know, 
they're kind of like eh, like the the events. They're piddly. Are, they're yeah. very piddly. Yeah. In many cases, you're better off taking the event because what can you do with one op? A lot That's of true. Times, right. That's very true. Yes. Especially yes. as a U.S. player. Um, yeah. Yeah. So former Soviet Union secular Secu- authoritarianism. Well said. I was. Uh, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is like the hardest. Daunted stretch. by that last word. <laughs> I won't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hardest stretch of. Uh, of cards we've ever had to read in this game. Yes, I know. <laughs> so, so you set Central Asia to neutral and roll its governments as if an initial test. Yeah. So basically you reset Central Asia. Basically. Yeah. And you know what? Hey, if, if this is actually the best time to use this card is when either the country is at good or the country is at Islamist rule because it can cancel that. Right. Right. So yeah, you, yeah. So you got an Islamist pretty... rule, you can get it to, you can start reset it to, um, you know, neutral, fair governance. Yes. Like, yes, you could. Yeah. Yes. Which is, I, th- I would argue it's much more devastating an event if that happens to the um, jihadi player than the U.S. Like if it takes it down from uh, a good governance down to fair neutral, that's annoying, but it's not kind of insurmountable. I don't, I can get it back there with a couple of cards and a couple of good rolls, but yeah um, so it's annoying um but you know if if the jihadi player has kind of moved on and you know is working in other areas and then suddenly it flips <laughs> that's that's a pain in the butt yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and um, i agree I, I i if it was good i'd probably play it just to to mess with your your uh your your totals so. yes yeah you could absolutely do that it's one of those cards which yeah, again, very uh, something I've noticed about the the neutral cards are a lot more situational. Like they can be great, but you know, for either side, um, which you would expect from a neutral card. But at the same time, they're very situational in general. So yeah, Hezbollah. Yeah, she a state within a state. If U.S. if U.S. play remove a cell from the Shia mixed country within three countries of Lebanon, if jihadist Lebanon to poor neutral. I think in 50 probably plus games we've played of Labyrinth, I've never played this card for the event. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Maybe I have Maybe once if it was like something I was trying to break up a, a major jihad uh, yeah. that was brewing. Now, now it's worth two. Geez. So, I mean, for two ops, you're kind of, you know, you're really weighing the value here. You can do a lot with two ops. like it's, yeah. And it's such a weird condition, too. It has to be a Shia mixed country within three countries of Lebanon. So right, yeah. yeah, like it's very odd and very, yeah, it's very situational. Very specific. But I yes. I can't honestly think of any time when I've actually played this event. Yeah, and then so the what next about card. For, what oh about yeah, as a jihadist. Yeah, no, no, I I wouldn't bother yeah. with spending two ops like, to flip new to poor neutral unless unless you had somehow gotten Lebanon to good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's. I bet again, it's, like we were saying, situational for uh, for Hezbollah. Yeah, and and let's roll and um and you can call me out in those scenarios. Lebanon's not very high priority. No, it's not anywhere on the I'm radar. I'm not going to burn cards on that one when I can spend them elsewhere. So now the next one's really interesting, actually. Yes, yes. Iran. I can pronounce that one. Uh, and this card, there was some controversy with us at this card for for a number of games. Yes. I, yeah. I, I, so I'll let you explain it because you really had. Uh... Well, I just I just found that the wording initially it, it we didn't grasp what it was trying to say. Now, obviously, select and test a Shia mixed country is straightforward. But if U.S. play, remove one cell there or from Iran. So okay, I guess if if there's a cell in that Shia mixed country or in Iran, you can you can choose to remove a cell from one or the other. Yes. But this is what the one that really mixed us up was. If it's the jihadist. It's the hottest event. Jihadist event. That's yeah. the trick. So you make two jihad rules there. Ignore failures or shift to Islamist rule, which, like I kind of read, is like you ignore the failures, you know, or you can shift it to Islamist rule, like you know, so or just it's like an either or, right? Yes. So you yeah. you roll two jihad rules and then shift to you know Islamist rule, or you can that's choose right. to ignore the failures. That's right. Just and shift now, to Islamist rule. <laughs> yeah. So like yeah, it, it, right. it, it seemed to me to be really um, it, like I just misread it. It's one of those kind of like the panda that walks in the bar, you know, eats, shoots and leaves. You know, there's two ways yeah. to, to understand it. Um, yeah. So what it's saying is that 
you ignore the failures in the sense that if you it, you know no cells are lost uh, if you fail, um, right. even though it's a jihad rule. And at the same time, if you if it was a besieged regime, for example, and it's you, not shifting to, it's, uh, to you can't rule. get it to Islamist rule just on the power of this card alone. Yes, so yes. that's what it's actually saying, which really kind of mitigates the card a little bit because that's uh, you know when you first at first blush you think you can get an Islamist rule out of it, totally worth it. Yeah, uh, but then it's okay. So you get two jihadist rolls there. So. Yes, but if you think about it, if you have a, a Shia mix country that's at good governance, you don't need to put any cells at risk. You just get two rolls. If you if you get a, a one, you can you can reduce its um, you can reduce it down from good to fair, or you can go after a fair um, fair yeah, governance Shia mix. Poor. Get yep. it down to poor so without even committing any cells. You can. Yeah, um, that's true. So. It's totally like I would say it's worth the trade off of two ops uh, to me. It, that would make sense. Yeah, yeah, it is still pretty good. Yes. Yeah. Although I, I think I've only ever seen like you play this probably like 50, 50, 50 for the. Yeah, ops, I, I 50, do. You yeah, know, and, yeah, I, I will or, play. I do play the event for sure. Yes. Yeah, because because it, it is nice, especially if you're trying to get into a kind of a well protected good country. Like there's troops there and all that stuff that are gonna disrupt you out as soon as you try and get in. Um, yeah. It's just a good way to mess up with, you know, the board a little bit. Well, here's another one. Go for it. You say it. <laughs> Josh Al Mandi. Mahdi? Mahdi, there it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing there's no end there. So Shia militants rise up. Yeah, Play the Shia mix country has cells and troops. Right. So there's a, the condition is on it there, but... You can remove two cells with the Americans, and I could worsen governments one level with Islamist rule and the jihad. So yeah, uh, the U.S. event definitely is weaker. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's not a bad event, but a lot of times I, I I find better use of the two ops. But it's not a bad event, I guess, if I if the situation yeah. demands it. But well, especially if I'm gearing up for a regime change, or sorry, not a regime change, uh, uh, is you know a, a, a uh, major, major jihad. jihad. Yes, it's a it's true. a good way to get in there quick and knock two cells out. But yes, but they have to have troops there too. So depending on the governance, oh, I may right. prefer to disrupt because then I get prestige out of it. This just removes two cells. That's true. Without yeah. Any, any yeah. Bump. But this is a great event for the jihadist. Yeah, if you're there trying to for a regime change, and I have this card too, and we're Jeez. both in there, that's yeah, it's it's yeah. a hassle. Yes, <laughs> it's a big hassle. Yeah, especially taking it from fair down to poor to because poor again. Yeah, she, now three, I got to dig a, up three ops, three, three cards bangers just to, to yes. yeah, or to even using attempt the reviews the reserves. I get you know, and, yeah, uh, yeah, it makes things very inefficient. So yeah, it's a it's a great event for the jihadists. It's actually one of the better neutral events I think for the uh, jihadists. It's not bad. Not bad, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kurdistan. Kurds maneuver for sovereignty. Um, if U.S. play, place one aid in Iraq. If jihadists test Turkey and worsen as Iraq's or Iraq's government's one Iraq's. level. Yeah. Uh, but not to Islamist rule. Yeah, I'm again in the in the first two scenarios. Certainly, I'm very rarely in Iraq, so the I'm almost never take this event. If I if I'm yeah. in a different scenario and Iraq's in play, sure, yeah, placing an aid in Iraq can be very helpful. But yeah. in the games, like if you play Let's Roll and you can call me Al, eh, I I barely ever, I don't think I've ever played this event. It's a it's useful for the uh, the jihadist if if you're looking to again if a regime change is going on, you want to try and bump them back down. But again, you said you don't you know you're not often in Iraq, yeah. unless it's the very end game. So it's yeah. Uh, yeah, but if the jihadist basically it gets Turkey to uh, poor neutral, so yeah, or or you can do uh, Iraqs as well. Yeah, or you can worsen Iraq. Yeah, actually that's true. Yeah, I would and say. actually if if you were you know what this would be a nice little power play where you're working towards a major jihad, mm -hmm. and say say Iraqs at at uh, fair. Yes. Play this one, get it to good, then your major jihad next. Yes, that's true. Yep, that's so good. It, yeah, it, anything it could be can... a one-two combo that's pretty useful. Yeah, that's actually very useful. Assuming Iraq's in, in play, or, or Turkey's in play, which isn't often, because um, Turkey's kind of a... Uh, it's kind An of, outlier. Yeah, I mean, it's a two-resource country, so it's not bad if it's... A, you know, I've, I've won games because Turkey's been a good governance, because it's really helped. Uh, but it's... Turkey is... is 
at the same time, it, it benefits and it hurts that it is so far away from the, the action, you know, Yeah. in yeah. general. Um, it's nice because it's unlikely if you get it to, to good governance, you know, the, the jihadist player is unlikely to send a whole bunch of cells there to try and flip it. But at the same time, it's not really helpful in terms of adjacency or anything like that. For the no, US, so, no. Yeah. Musharraf. Musharraf, isn't it? Musharraf, yes. Whatever. Yeah. Pakistani president walks a fine line. What do you think about this one? This I could see this being useful for the U.S. if, especially if I've gotten it to Islamist rule. Oh, geez, it, like yeah, it, it's the, it's basically the former Soviet Union card, but for Pakistan. Right. So yeah. if if you um, if you have as a U.S. player, um, it's it's great to bring Pakistan back from Islamist rule because it sets it to poor ally, which means you can start putting troops in. Um, and it gets rid of a cell, but by the same token, it's also a pain in the butt because um, the jihadist player can take your good ally, uh, Pakistan, yeah. down to poor ally, and yeah. that, that so can it can take be really punishing to... for either side, really. Yeah, yeah. And Benazir Bhutto, if she's in play, um, and you know, we chatted about uh, her card earlier. Benazir yeah. Bhutto is actually not a bad event. And this is one of the nice side effects. So if you're looking to kind of lock down Pakistan, you've got, um, you've got. If you have uh, Benazir, Benazir in Bhutto. play, then this card is is now moot. Yes, and that that's very helpful in this. Yeah. Uh, but but is it worth playing around? Uh, I mean, it's it's annoying, but it's not a game breaker necessarily. No, and, no, no. And as I said, in certain circuit, if if Pakistan is at Islamist rule, the Musharraf is awesome. Yeah. So the next one's very interesting. Yeah, this Tora is the Bora. last of the set for 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 now. So Tora yeah. Bora. U.S. traps Al Qaeda fighters, but not leaders. Yeah, play it if at least two cells in a regime change country. Remove the two cells, roll prestige, and draw a card. And what do you think is the U.S.? I'm curious. It's it's ambiguous. It isn't a bad event, but again, I always hesitate at roll prestige. Um, yeah. Now, if your prestige is in the tank and you got nothing to lose, absolutely take the event. Yeah, yeah. Plus, you get a card under the deal too. Yeah, yeah. Which, uh, as you know, as long as it's not a a, a terrifying, uh, uh, you know, jihadist event, um, this is well worth it. I mean, yeah. best case scenario, you end up drawing like a nice three op safe card, American event, remove yeah, two cells right. and roll <laughs> prestige and get a bump. Yeah, worst case exactly. scenario. Worst case scenario, you draw uh, uh, another Islamist rule event you didn't need <laughs> and didn't want to play. <laughs> you lower prestige. And you lower prestige. <laughs> now you do get two cells, so you know. Yeah. It, I yeah. would say there's more potential upside from this if you are not doing well in the regime change. Yeah. Uh, but it's still a risky play. I don't know. Would you play this as the as, as the jihadis? jihadis? Uh, you know what? Uh, to lose your two cells is kind of annoying. Especially because it's a regime change country, you don't you want to be you want to be in there. But it's re, but it's very easily replaced in a regime change country, right? That's because true too. You can too. recruit automatically. Yes, you can. Yeah, so that's true too. Uh, you get to draw a card back, and if your prestige is really high, which it generally would be if you're if you're regime changing, yeah, um, it could actually uh, it could actually you know it, it's a it's 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 a gamble. It's a gamble card. Yeah. Yeah. And, and sometimes these events are, are fine, but a lot of times I'll, I'll, you know, they're fun to play sometimes because you really don't know what's going to happen. But a lot of times I end up taking ops because I just can't take the risk. Well, and here, you know my rule, right? So I've, you know, so I'm losing two cells. It, I'm, I'm using two ops. So that whatever the outcome is really has to hit me for, or it has to be more than a four benefit. Yes. So whatever the value of the card is, let's say it's a two, right? Yep. And then so I, you would have to lose at least two prestige for me to play this, you know. Yeah, but that's to, but to that's just it. You don't in. know, right? It's, yeah, and it could go up and, then and you draw a card. It could be a terrible card that totally ruins. You have to totally mitigate. Exactly. exactly. So, so there's, yeah. just, there's I think there's too many questions for me to play this. Yeah. Unless unless it, I would do this as a desperation play. Yeah. Yeah, it, does, it definitely mixes it up. It's like fatwa, you know. It's, it can yeah. really mix up the gameplay. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you uh, you guys gained some value from uh, from watching this. Yeah, I'm Cax, and I'm NATO. 
This is Legendary Tactics. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.